So step two to finding your and pursuing your passion is to figure out your passions and your strengths. So we are all good at multiple things. Um, some of the things we like doing and other things we don't like so much. When I was a teenager, I was really good at working with kids. I volunteered in a kids program. And then as I got older, I just continued working with kids. I taught preschool. I ran a mentorship program. But the truth is, I don't really like working with kids. It was something I fell into and I kind of just got stuck there because I was good at it. But I much prefer working with adults. That means that just because you're good at something doesn't mean that it's right for you. You might say something like, well, you know, I've been doing it for 20 years or I've gotten really good reviews at work. But the true question is, do you really love it? The key to transitioning into a business or career we love is to figure out our strengths, figure out our passions, and then identify the jobs that would fit in with both. As you can see my little uh, Venn diagram here, I am not a graphic artist, but I made this for you guys. Strengths on one side, passions on the other side, and jobs or business ideas. And right where they intersect is what is, is your sweet spot. So the easiest way to identify your strengths and the things you like the things you like is to look back over your past several jobs. So I encourage all of my coaching clients to do this. Make a list of the things you're good at and the things you enjoyed at work. It can be as simple as building coworker relationships or entering data or leading meetings. Then in the next column, make a list of the things you struggled with. It could be maybe deadlines or detailed reports or numbers, whatever they may be. Then you wanna take a moment to think back on those times when you really felt flow. So what flow means is when you're in a task that you enjoy so much that you don't realize what time it is. We've all been there where we're doing something on the computer or with our family and we just completely miss lunch or we're late for another meeting because we're so focused and in the zone. So make a list of things you have done where you have experienced flow. Now what you want to do is take your list of strengths and moments that you've experienced flow and see where each of those things interact. Going back to the kids example, I have a friend who loves kids. She is really good at working with kids and often found herself looking after her friend's kids. When she was doing that, she felt the time went by quicker and it got her creativity flowing, coming up with activities to do with the kids. She ended up opening a very successful day home and has since married her skill, her passion with a business that she loves. Once you have written down those things, you can really start to look at jobs that would fit within your skills and your passion. There are lots of great ways to figure out jobs or businesses that would fit. You could talk to a friend about it and see if they have any good ideas. You could hire a coach to help you navigate the next steps in your career. Or you could put the information into an AI like ChatGPT and see what they come up with. They really do have a lot of really good ideas. And once you have some good job or business options, you can start to do some research and see what each of them entails to see if they would be a fit for you. If you guys have ever done informational interviews, it can really help you decipher if this, this is the right path for you and whether you would actually enjoy the job. So just so you, in case you're not aware, an informational interview is where you reach out to someone solely for the purpose of getting to know their job or how they got into the job and asking them questions about what is expected, what does a day-to-day -day look like, and this can help you understand a role better. That way you can take a leap into a job and you don't have to try 32 jobs like I did. If only I knew about the informational interview when I was younger, that probably would have helped me out.